here uh, in the background. Uh, so for, let's start with you, Jamie. That you're a magician. Tell me how magic. Well, don't tell me how it can make people happy. Obviously, it makes people happy, but why? I think the uh, the amusement and the the trying people always try and work out what's what's going on, which is great because it means people talk about it for long after the performance. So um, it's always in people's minds, and they always go back and and think about it. And people like get to take away like just like Sue over here cards and things. So they're always looking at these things, and they're always almost looking back at that time when they were smiling and laughing and they're just recreating that memory again. Yeah. So. Have you ever scared anyone? I think Sue was slightly <laughs> scared there. <laughs> Sue's still looking quite shocked, actually. Uh, jaw on the floor. Um, uh, you're going to do a trick for us now, though, aren't you? Yeah. yeah? Are you going you to show us a trick, like how to do it, or are you going to just demonstrate a trick and make our jaws hit the floor? I'll, I'll demonstrate something now. Hopefully the, the people listening at home will be able to, to, to get this as well, so I won't physically show anything. Um, Susan, can you think of a, a word for me? Thinking is quite a long process for me, but I'm trying hard here. Okay. I've got one. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay, we're going to try this together. Now, it's important we haven't set this up. I haven't asked you to think of a word. That, that's important. You can confirm that for, for everyone now. It's entirely my word. <laughs> okay, brilliant. I want you to just think of this word and bring it from the back of the mind straight to the front of the mind. It's on the tip of your tongue, and you just want to say it, but obviously don't say it. I'm going to try and pick up on the exact word you're thinking of right now. Just think of a letter in the middle for me, and instantly you're thinking of N. You are. Okay, perfect. Just think of, uh, imagine what, what letter this starts with. And we're just going to go through the alphabet. We're going to start with A. We're going to go B, C. Ooh. It's very close to the start of the alphabet. You just winked at me. Is it, is it a B? I want to give you my phone number. It's nothing to do with B. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It is a B. Okay, I got very worried there. <laughs> okay, I want you to imagine for me... It, 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 just is this just in your mind? Is this is this an object? Is this a name? Is it an animal? Is is, is it just imagine in your mind? This is probably um, an, an object, and maybe something that you would consume. Would that make sense? It would. Okay. Yeah. Ima does this object have a, a particular color? Just say yes or no. Yes. It does. Okay. Imagine what color this object is, and imagine in your mind making it bigger and brighter brighter like the sun a yellow uh, yellow is that right it is brilliant and um i'm going to go for a long shot this may be completely wrong but i hope it's correct is this a banana it certainly is <laughs> oh round of applause everyone did you see that that is amazing how jamie how really well <laughs> <laughs> well you i mean had i mean i mean can you can you I mean, it takes time, though, doesn't it, to read someone's mind? You can't do it instantly. You can't tell me what I'm just about to ask you, can you? Definitely. I think I could probably try something with yourself as well. Uh, just, you said right. you wanted to think of All right, let's do it then. Come on, then. So this is impromptu. Just think of a, a playing card for me, for instance. We'll narrow it down to one in 52. If, if I have my eyes shut or open, does it matter? Whatever tickles your fancy. Ah, okay. <laughs> I shut. I, I shut, shut on this okay. one. Okay. okay, just think of a card. And uh, before I came over, I placed one card inside my wallet, hoping that someone would name this card, and in fact, I think that's going to be yourself. Just just name the card that you're just thinking of out loud. So everyone can hear. Jack of Clubs. Jack of Clubs. And Jack that's of a free choice. Yeah. Now, I don't even think there's 52 pockets or 52 wallets. Indeed, the wallet's been in full view the whole time. Inside here is one card inside an envelope. Would it be good if it was, in fact, your card, the Jack of Clubs? Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. It's the Jack of Clubs. Look at that. Round of applause for Jamie Doherty. The Jack of Clubs. How? I mean, when you do things like that, people... Um, just, it's just the... I, I can't actually find the words. It's all good fun, and I enjoy it as much as, as people... I hope people do watching it, and uh, I guess as long as I enjoy it and people enjoy it, then, then that's the main thing. Yeah, what do you make of it, Sue? Well, I thought it was pretty spooky. <laughs> The, uh, a banana was the funniest thing I could think of in these circumstances. It just, it just seemed like a humorous kind of fruit. Well, it was, it was, it was, irony. It was, it was ironic that you thought of a piece of fruit when we're surrounded by cakes and stuff here and crisps and, you know, lots of, lots of sweet, sweet stuff. Uh, brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. Um, will you hang around and do some more magic tricks on people? Yeah, definitely. I'd love, I'd love to. I, I think I'm going to hear oohs and ahs from around the crowd. Let's just speak to Susan, Susan Rasmussen, personal stylist. So uh, Jamie can work his magic, literal magic. What about you when it comes to...